What's up, everybody? Ben Razzi here for Odd Chopper. I am back. It is a new week. It is Monday, February 26th in the sports world. It's our last opportunity to put some wins, probably a couple losses, but let's focus on the wins in February. We got four days left, then we turn the page to March and all the madness that comes with it. I got a college basketball play to get our week started. I want to welcome everyone to Odd Chopper. All things betting here from college basketball to the NBA market based approach, arbitrage origination every type of bet you want we've got we've got you covered if you like what you see hit the like button subscribe to the channel hopefully you've been rolling with me because i'm i'm on a bit of a run nebraska yesterday was just the right side simple as that we we pounced on that we got a win we're stringing them together that's what we want to do here we want to just stack up the wins we're getting the bounces as well and it's all about that and then of course i get this question and i love to see it where is that discord where are these tools they're right here they're right below it says join odd chopper Come on in and you're getting it all. You're getting Discord. You're getting picks. You're getting tools. You're getting process all in one package. If you want to save yourself a little money, just use my last name as a code. Uh, why not? You know, Come in for the week. Test it out. That's what I say every time. I would love to have you for a month, five months, a year. Uh, come in for a week. See what you think. See if it helps your process. And see if you want to stick around. Let's get to a, a Baylor TCU basketball game tonight. Not a lot of big games. This might be the biggest. And you know kind of my formula lately, but I'm going against it. I'm taking the points with Baylor. Give me two and a, plus two and a half at minus 106. We're saving a little vig here on FanDuel. Uh, I could sum it up if I had to get out of here in 10 seconds by saying, I've got this game as a complete toss-up. You want to give me two and a half points? I'll take that every time. I think it's a 50-50 game. Uh, now let's talk about why. All right, Baylor, 19-8. and eight. Just lost a heartbreaker to Houston. I actually bet that game. It went to overtime. That was at home. Ridiculous. They played TCU early in the year. Talk about ridiculous. Triple overtime loss uh, to TCU. So we know how hard it is to go on the road. Uh, Baylor hasn't had a ton of success on the road, but I actually think they have shown they're in these games. So road games, Kansas State lost by four. Texas lost by two. Beat UCF, lost to Kansas by three. Beat West Virginia, lost to BYU by seven. Those losses were four, two, three, and seven. Very competitive. Now you got to start winning games. There's no doubt about it. Uh, and yeah, we're only getting two and a half here, but still Baylor will be ready to go on the road. They're a deadly, deadly shooting team. 40% from three, basically. That's outrageous. That is a really tough clip for other teams. It's not unreasonable to think that Baylor just shoots so well that they stay in the game no matter what. Also really balanced. Six in double figures. Now a lot are at like 10.3 points per game, but man, they got a lot of bodies that can make an impact week, night in and night out. Good, balanced team. I don't know if they can hold up defensively. That is the key. Uh, we'll say 19 and 8 TCU is on the other side. Coming off a win over Cincinnati, 81 points per game, 35% from three. We've got Miller on the inside, who's a really good player, very balanced. A lot of, a lot of similarities to Baylor. I would say they have slightly worse offense uh, just because of the three-point shooting. Their defense is also probably better because Baylor's defense is not great um rebounding you know all, all the little things i think are, are pretty subtle in this game i don't see major gimmicks major issues major anything uh and, and that's really where i'm at I, I know i'm kind of almost talking in circles because there's not a lot for me to go off of in a good way i look at these teams it's late in the year baylor has been in tough environments they're all in the big 12 everyone has seen everything these are two evenly matched teams tcu beat Baylor in their building. I think Baylor returns the favor tonight. I'm going to call for Baylor to cover, and I, I do think they're alive to win the game for sure. Again, it's only two and a half points. I will take the Bears and my points. Give me a toss-up game. That's all I can say. Uh, I like it, and I think they will show up tonight. Now, if you have any questions at all, at JazzRazDFS on Twitter, happy to help. Again, if you have any questions about the tools and, and Discord and all that, just tweet me ready to roll uh and i'll see you in that discord and then the last thing for me always come on in and get your bonus money lucky lucky nine states arizona indiana new jersey colorado virginia ohio kentucky louisiana and iowa that means bet five get 150 link is below if you want 150 in bonus bets all you got to do is click that you throw your five bucks put it on baylor why not uh and you're getting 150 whether they win or lose you got to be 21 plus 18 in kentucky if you have a gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Appreciate it. Let's get the week started with a win for me, for Baylor, and for TCU. Enjoy your Monday. Enjoy the college basketball. Stop by tomorrow. Same time, same place.